This stage heart failure in 10 minutes might be a little bit short, but uh, at least we will have time to get through some, uh, some definition, I guess. Um, first, what is, uh, what is heart failure? It's a clinical syndrome arising at normal filling pressures. Uh, the heart is then unable to pump sufficient blood for the metabolic needs of the, of the body. Uh, the venous return to the heart is still normal. Congestive heart failure um, arises when the compensat compensatory mechanism fails to increase the cardiac output during minimum exercise or at rest. Uh, the development and progression of uh, congestive heart failure is secondary to the imbalance in continued neurohormonal activation, uh, leading to adverse left ventricular remodeling and increasing inflammatory activation. The acute heart failure is more uh, the category of patient that we're going to take care of with left ventricular assist device. It's a rapid onset of worsening uh, uh, or worsening of symptoms. The symptoms of heart failure are very well known, fatigue, restlessness, edema. Um, it is associated or not with congestion or hypoperfusion. You all know very well this uh, old schema. And actually, the patients which are interesting us are mostly in the cold and wet category of patients. Acute heart failure is precipitated by um, medic medicamentous non-compliance or new disturbances such as arrhythmias, acute anemia, or um, sepsis. It might also be precipitated by myocardial infarction or, or it can, can be an exacerbation of an underlying chronic cardiomyopathy. It is a life-threatening medical condition. It requires urgent evaluation, hospitalization, and urgent treatment. If you wait to uh, treat this patient, the mortality is increasing drastically after six hours. Finally, what is a cardiogenic shock? It's a life-threatening, generalized form of acute circulatory failure. It is associated with inadequate oxygen utilization by the cells result in cellular dysfunction and cellular dysoxia and is associated with increase, generally with increased lactate levels. Uh, it is associated with symptoms of impaired microcirculation, like you can see it here, uh, model skin, acrocyanosis, slow capillary refill time, and increased central to two temperature gradient. It is a result of four different mechanisms hypovolemia, pump failure, obstruction, and loss of vascular tone. So you have to differentiate uh, these four different kinds of shock before treating this patient uh, adequately. Cardiogenic shock is defined by a low cardiac index despite treatment, with low blood pressure also despite treatment, and with signs of uh, tissue hypoperfusion Clinically, a cold, clumsy, uh, mottle skin, uh, low venous uh, oxygenation, high lactate level, and patient might be encephalopathic, may be lethargic or confused, delirant. They uh, go slowly in multiple organ failure in the form of low urine output and uh, possibly liver dysfunction. It's not occurring uh, so, uh, so frequently, it's two to four percent of acute heart failure but in six to uh, almost 10% of acute myocardial infarction. And it is secondary actually mostly um, to acute coronary syndrome. Mortality of cardiogenic shock is very high, is 50%. And it, we shouldn't wait until the patient are getting in this status to, um, to, uh, to, uh, to bring them, to indicate uh, the need for mechanical support uh, or um, inotrop, for example. What is interesting to know is that the cardiogenic shock is developing in 50% of the case is still developing in the hospital. The patient is already in the hospital, is coming for acute heart failure, and is still developing cardiogenic shock. And this is something that we have uh, to be able to, uh, to avoid. There is a, a very well-known uh, cascade or a spiral uh, from acute myocardial infarction 
producing a low cardiac output, um, decrease in stroke volume, um, and uh, hypo progressive hypotension, progressive coronary hypoperfusion. This is all also increased through a huge inflammatory reaction, leading to further ischemia, progressive cardiac dysfunction, and finally death. And with our left ventricular assist device, we might avoid also uh, this kind of uh, deleterious uh, evolution.